everybody, and welcome to TU Automotive Detroit 2016. You notice we've got a new logo this year, the Penton logo. That's because we were acquired by them in January, and something that we're really excited about. So on behalf of TU Automotive and Penton, we're really happy to see everybody here today and welcome you all. We thought we'd take a few moments before we really kick off just to explain the premise of what's going to happen over the next couple of days. Put things into context a little bit and just align our thoughts. So part of what we did as well to build this presentation was we just sent a survey of a couple of questions out to our speakers. So when I reference the survey, that's what I'm referring to. Last year, we saw a huge change in our industry. I think some call it seismic, I would agree. And it was so big, we actually changed the name of our company. We changed the scope of the show. Because it was no longer just about telematics or connectivity. It was now about three megatrends influencing the whole of the auto tech industry. Connectivity was absolutely still there. But what had changed was it shot up the rankings and now was front and center of the automakers' business models and their very future strategy as the auto industry became connected. It was also about mobility. Uber and other disruptors were very, very quickly changing consumer habits, really reinventing and questioning the way in which we own vehicles, use vehicles, and the use cases for cars going forwards. And autonomy. Active safety was also rising up the agenda, plus Google and others were really accelerating that roadmap forwards towards the end game of the autonomous vehicle. But this time last year, when we got up and welcomed you, we recognized those three trends, we recognized their importance, but we hadn't quite got the connection between them yet, and they weren't really working in harmony as we knew they should. So that brings us on to the theme of this year's show. So what are we talking about? We're talking about collaboration, and we're talking about collaboration to put auto in the IoT driving seat. Now, why are we talking about collaboration? It seems quite a simple concept, but we're talking about it in three specific ways. We're talking about collaboration internally, within your organizations, bringing connectivity, mobility, and autonomy all together and breaking down the silos between the different departments. We're talking about the automotive ecosystem. We've got new players. There might be people that might, have, might not have been relevant to you before. There's lots out there. There's lots of partnerships. There's lots of collaboration that really could really excel things forward. But more importantly, we're talking about collaborating with other verticals. Now, why are we talking about other verticals? I mean, automotive seems to have done pretty well so far on its own. So to the survey, we asked, what will the number one industry be that's going to converge on auto in 2017? No surprises. Connected home, insurance, entertainment, mobile, health and fitness, and public infrastructure transportation. I mean, this is probably not a surprise to many of you. It wasn't really a surprise to us. But it's good that there's some trends going on. And you know, what do all of these industries have in common? Why were they the industries that were just so prevalent and were just repeat, repeated by our speakers as the, the industries that are going to converge in auto? Three little letters, three little words, IoT and the Internet of Things. Three little letters, three little words, but a concept so big, it's nearly mind-blowing. Every time I speak to someone, I was doing it last night at the awards, when you talk to people, you ask them, what is the thing that's exciting you most right now? Where's the biggest opportunity? And nearly without fault, every single person will say back to you, the Internet of Things. My favorite question at that point is asking them, what do you actually mean by the Internet of Things? What does the Internet of Things mean to you? And again, without fault, back to me, I pretty much get a different answer every time. So if it's a concept so big, so important, it is defining our industry, and we know we're pretty much going to be talking about it in every session and every discussion over the next two days, I think there's a couple of reasons why we need to really address it now. First and foremost, we need some kind of a basis for the discussion, some kind of collective agreement of what the, what the term is that we're tackling. But also it goes bigger than that. It's not just about inside these rooms, inside where, where we come together as an industry to talk. The Internet of Things has crossed over. It's bigger than just the industry right now. People out there are using it too. And it's going to be part of the marketing message of all of your solutions, all the technology we're using. So if we don't understand it, we don't get it right, 
we're never going to communicate its importance outwards and really accelerate everything that we're doing right now. So, yeah, we've got our own opinions. But as Gareth said, there's not one clear line of thought. So we wanted to get a few, few opinions. So again, we asked a few people. You know, what, what does it mean? What is the, the Internet of Things to Auto? And what does it mean to you? So there was not really any clear lines. Again, no surprise here. But we picked out a few that we thought were really interesting. It means not standing alone. I mean, that's a pretty nice one. It means being, you know, part of the rest of this digitally connected world. And I mean, are we overthinking this stood up here? I mean, I don't think so, but it's the connected car and the autonomous car, something we're all really familiar with already. So as we can see, we didn't pick all the options, but we can see there is no one definitive definition of the IoT. But within every single definition we got back from our speakers, there were two very clear themes that ran through it. First and foremost was the utter disruption this thing called IoT, however it was defined, was causing. But it wasn't disruption, it was about the opportunity that this was creating. Because as that top quote there says, for this person it was the opportunity to re-establish and reinvigorate a consumer's relationship with the car. Essentially the IoT was going to make the car relevant for that digital consumer in this digital world right now. But also the second theme that ran through everything that we did was, the car is not just another node in the Internet of Things. In this Internet of Things, not everything is going to be equal. And actually the car and the automotive industry is very much the pioneer at the forefront of this trend that we call the IoT. As it says here, it's because it's one of those few things that can physically move through the IoT world and connect many different aspects of it as well. Um, it only struck me for the first time uh, during the Hall of Fame induction last night, listening to Fran Dance, and he even pointed out that the letters IoT are in automotive. Not quite in the right order. Maybe it was meant to be, and maybe this was meant to be the industry that pushed it forwards. But that's because auto needs IoT, and IoT needs auto. Because in this context, it really means mobility, making things more sustainable, making it safer, making it more enjoyable, and also making it relevant in this world we live in today. And as that bottom quote there said from the speaker, automotive is now part of this internet of everything. And isolation or ignorance is the path to failure. So we collated some of the headlines and some of the announcements that have happened recently, just to kind of give more examples about what we're saying. Gaz put this slide together, and when I first looked at it, I said, Gareth, you can't put it up there. It's hurting my eyes. It's too busy. It's making my head swell. And I, I agreed with, with, uh, with Anna, but then I said, that's the point. Fair. Because, yes, we're talking big concepts. We're talking big ideas. But uh, what we didn't want to lose sight of is the fact this is also happening today. It's happening now. This isn't just fluffy concept stuff. Because we talked about, I've used the word lots, opportunity. That's not just the last year. Pretty much most of that is the last two months. We are seeing so many new entrants coming into this market right now, many of whom you're going to hear on this stage over the next two days. And why? Because that opportunity is so great. Because the opportunity in terms of the influence is great, but also let's not forget why we're here. It's business. And what's on the table, the figures just on this one slide here, are huge. And this is a pie that everyone in this room can be getting a part of, and it's happening now. And also, one other reason for trying to give you a bit of a headache with all these things here was, it also shows one more thing. It shows that the incumbents, so essentially the OEMs, are having to completely reinvent their whole business for this new world. From the personnel, from the structure, to the business models. And what they need to do is they need to do it fast. They are reinventing their business for the digital world, for the connected world, they're reinventing it for the IoT world. And what we can see for all of these headlines is they cannot do it alone. It will take, as we say, this big word, collaboration. It might be through partnerships, it might be through acquisitions, but it's happening because they need to get there fast. Because as the last slide says, if we don't do it now, then it is going to be who knows what's going to happen in the future. And you don't even want to think about not getting up to speed with this trend right now. So. Just what was on, just go back a bit, Gaz, go back to the previous slide if you can. Who, who predicted any of these things? I mean, yes, yeah, some people might have got close to some of the trends they display, 
But I doubt anybody really, really understood this time last year exactly what was going to happen in the last 12 months and how the industry was really going to shift. So it's a conference. We love a prediction. As things have accelerated, we wanted to know how bold people are going to be now in their predictions for the next 12 months, given what's happened just in the last two. So again, we asked, what is your biggest prediction for the industry for the next 12 months? And yeah, we got some that were, you know, not, not again that shocking, things we all know, or all suspected would come up, let's say, a prediction. You can't really know a prediction, can you, for sure? But a giant technology company is going to start selling cars. Apple's entry is an autonomous player. Amazon becomes a bigger threat than Apple or Google. Google announcing a car OEM partnership. Google buys FCA. God, there's a lot of Google in there, a lot of Google. But, but Rue's right. She, she said that some of it's not shocking because we expected to see answers like this. But I think sometimes we've, it's happening so fast that we're taking this for granted. Mm. Five years ago, this would have been huge news. And this is happening every week, every month right now. Um, so we moved away from a few of these ones to, to a few more. Um, a German car company will launch an Uber uh, competitor. We know they've come together in the mapping world. Will they do the same in the mobility world? It's certainly a possibility. Not about the aftermarket and the huge things that are going to happen there. We know the autonomous vehicle is going to happen. And if it is going to happen, there is a huge car park out there that also needs to have this technology. And the aftermarket is going to be an inevitable route towards that. A major auto OEM calls it quits. We've kept these anonymous, but I would love to know who wrote that one. <laughs> big, big call. Yeah. And <laughs> the last one we put on there, we, we genuinely had a bit of a debate about whether we should use it, because getting up here at the start is all about giving that positivity, that real outlook for the, for the next two days, for the next 12 months. But we really thought we had to include it. The first major accident involving an autonomous vehicle will happen oh, and become a defining moment for this technology. To think that this won't happen is to bury our heads in the sand. Yes, we're in the game of predictions right now. We don't know whether that's going to happen in the next 12 months or the next 24. But this quote is totally right. How we respond to that is going to define this industry. And it's going to, we're going to need to deal with that collectively, because it doesn't just affect autonomous technologies. How we deal with it is going to affect everyone's solutions in this room right now. But that's what our speakers said. But we want to know from you. We want to know what you think and what you're going to be predicting. So tweet them to us. Tweet it now. Tweet it at lunchtime. Tweet it at the end of tomorrow so we can see how it evolves as you, end, as you go to the sessions, have your meetings, and find out more. We want to know what you think, because you're the people in the industry. You're the people on the ground. You're the people that are going to make that new partnership that's going to you know, be added on to the connected home and insurance next year. One of you is going to break off and start up a startup that's going to change the game. So we want to know what you think. So please send those to us. And because it's you guys, and you're the people that are making everything happen, make sure you shake every hand. Make sure you talk to everybody at the coffee stations. Maybe they're not relevant to you today, but that person could be gold dust in two years' time. And that's what we're here for. We really have a good you know, representation of the industry here and those other industries we were talking about earlier. So make the most of why you're here and just talk to everybody and learn as much as you can. And let's make tomorrow's headlines here today. And as we say, that's going to happen through collaboration and together over the next two days, let's put auto in the IoT driving seat. Thank you very much for listening and enjoy the conference.